Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and now we're going to take a look at patella alta. So this is a side view. We're looking at the knee. Over here is the patella, the kneecap, and behind that is the femur. And the patella glides along on the part of the femur in the front here. This is called the trochlea. And there's cartilage along the patella, cartilage along the trochlea. And if we look at this one, we can see that there is a minor problem here. The patella is not really gliding very well. It's a little bit too high. Normally, the central part of the patella will be about down right about here where this line is, roughly. And it's just high riding. And that's because the, this is called the patellar tendon that comes off the bottom all the way down here to the tibia. This is congenitally elongated. And so this is high riding on a developmental basis. Up here is the quadriceps tendon. All the thigh muscles come off and attach to this and attaches to the top of the patella. So when the patella is too high like this, what happens is it can sublux out laterally and also you can get abnormal mechanics of stress and erosive changes in edema. And this patient did have some of that. They had some cartilaginous thinning and a little bit of uh, irregularity um, of the inferior articular surface here. And everything else in this patient looked, looked very, very nice. Just had patella alta with some very early degenerative changes and a little bit of subluxation of the patella.